Hello, my name is Christopher, and thank you for joining us for our StepCraft Tech Tip. Today, we're going to explain how to hook up your laser in the proper manner so that there's no further issues or potential issues in the future with your system. It's important in these cases that all power to your StepCraft are unplugged before we do any of these processes. We want to make sure that our system is up and running and there's no problems. We've received our laser in the mail. Inside that package, we're going to have a 15-pin serial port. Each side is different and only goes into the system one way, so it's very easy to make sure that we're plugging it into the correct spot. The first thing we want to do is go to the back of the laser and locate our 15-pin serial port. We're going to find the end of the cable that inserts in there, make sure it's set up the right way, and slip it in. Once it's firmly seated, we want to turn these set screws to make sure that it doesn't come loose during any operation of the system. From there, we go to the other end of the cable, and we want to plug this into the only available position on the step craft. What I'm going to do now is just bend down and plug it in. Again, once it's firmly seated, we make sure the set screws are screwed in and we're good to go. Remember, there should not be any power to the system at this point. Doing so can lead potential damage into the circuitry, into the laser, or any other attachment for the system. We want to make sure that there is no power, including the USB cable, to the system. From this point, we're going to take our UC100, which drives the CNC system, and we're going to plug this into the 25-pin port. Again, there are two small Phillip head screws here that can be screwed in to secure the UC100 to the unit. At this point, we have our USB cable. The bigger end goes to your computer, your PC. The smaller end plugs into the back of this UC100. We're going to plug in the small end first and leave the other end disconnected from the computer for this point in time. Doing so can add 5 volts of current to your system and potentially cause an issue. At this point, all of our electronics are hooked up. If you have a extra system attachment like a automatic tool changer or any other one of our attachments, you may have a switch box, in which case the setup is slightly different. You go to the switch box first and then into the system from there. But other than that, at this point, we are ready to go. We're simply going to take our power cable supplied with your system and plug this in last. This way we're guaranteeing that there's no electrical interference going to the system. At this point, you're ready to roll with your system and test your laser. You're going to affix it to your tool holder, run a couple of tests, make sure everything is good for you, 